What's up, y'all? It's your girl Anaya, and I am back with another video. Um, I know y'all are probably wondering where the heck has this girl been for like weeks. Um, you can probably tell by the title. I've been taking a medical assistant course. So there's a bunch of reasons why I decided to just be spontaneous and take this course. And I'm gonna tell you all all those reasons on this video today. First, I want to say, if you all hear any jangling in the background, it is my stepmom's dog, Sissy. I'm watching her for a little bit, and her little um, jangly, whatever it is on her collar, her thing that says her name, y'all know what I'm talking about, it makes a lot of noise. So if you hear her walking around here, that's all it is. Don't be alarmed. Um, Sissy, come here. facility so it is not in a clinical setting or in any kind of clinical atmosphere and you all know that I am trying to go to school to become a PA so um, while I love working with autistic children and I love it is rewarding work and I love doing it and I love helping these kids eventually I knew I was going to need um, some kind of clinical experience some kind of hospital experience so that I can kind of get into the feel and the flow of being in the hospital setting, you know, <clears throat> and I'm saying hospital, but it can be anything, hospital, clinic, any, anything, doctor's office, um, I just knew I would kind of have to get more experience because uh, where I work now is kind of more relaxed with it being in homes. In a hospital setting, I would learn way more as far as there would just be physicians around, PAs around, nurses around that I can learn, learn from. Um, in hospitals, you're using medical terminology, you're learning how to like chart and do all these other kind of different things. So I think I just always knew I was going to have to do something more so that I could get that experience, but I was just kind of pushing it off and now that I just, I got my medical assistant course, I finished it, and now I'm ready to take the exam. How did I take a medical assistant course during COVID, I guess you're wondering. Well, y'all, this is where getting on all those PA shadowing sessions, all those PA virtual shadowing sessions paid off because I was getting on all those sessions and just like looking through, looking through the comments, talking to other students, trying to figure out what they did. And I came across the U.S. Career Institute. So the U.S. Career Institute is a college, as far as I know, they offer a 
because these degrees, they, and they offer certificates. Um, and you can get these certificates and these degrees in different areas. Like there's, they have a whole bunch of different things that you can get certifications and degrees in. And of course, when I came across it, I was most interested in medical assisting. Um, I feel like with medical assisting, I can get, you know, that clinical experience while also gaining things that I can take into um, PA school potentially after I get done and get ready to apply and things like that. So I just got on the U.S. Career Institute's website and I looked up medical assisting. You know, I was really hoping that it wasn't going to cost much because y'all, I ain't balling like we, it ain't raining money over here so that was really my biggest thing is that I didn't want it to cost an arm and a leg and I didn't want it to take forever because y'all know I'm a senior I just finished my fall semester I only have one semester of college left so I was like I'm not trying to be doing this thing forever like I really just need something now that I can do now and I can be ready to start working like immediately so I talked to a representative on the phone and she told me that it was completely self-paced because that was something I was a little bit worried about was the time because on their website it does say I think it says four to twelve four to seven months something like that to complete the program and I was like oh god I hope it really doesn't take that long so when I talked to the representative she told me that it was completely self-paced and when I told her my background you know with me being a college student I'm a senior I've done higher level coursework you know I'm kind of used to it so I'm already in the flow of like doing schoolwork and turning it in she was like oh yeah girl you'll be fine you should be able to do it like in no time it shouldn't take you that long to get through the course since you already you know are used to higher education learning and I was like oh, well that's great I was like well how how long do you think it'll take me to finish it? She was like, honestly, you probably could finish it in about four weeks. And y'all, that was a bit, okay? Because I'm thinking in my head, okay, yes, we're about to get out of school. We get out of school uh, first week in December. I'm going to start the start the program right when we get out of school and we don't go back until like near February so like I'm gonna have plenty of time I'm gonna try to have it done by the end of December so 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 I'm done now and yeah so I'm eligible to take the exam right away um, my certificate is coming in the mail it's not an official certificate of like graduation but it is a certificate like telling them that I finished the program so that I am eligible to sit for the exam. My official like diploma won't come after I pay the balance in full. I haven't told y'all how much it costs yet. Okay, so the total price of the medical assistant course was about $1,200, I want to say y'all. Um, and I got it on sale. I will say that they were having this special, I think it was on Black Friday, and I did get the course on sale. I do recommend waiting for a sale. If you are going to take this course, I recommend waiting for a sale because the price, the full price without any sale or anything is $1,500. So, and it may not sound like a big difference to you, but I mean... If I can keep $300 in my pocket, then I'm going to keep $300 in my pocket, you know? So, um, and it wasn't even like flat out $1,200. It was more like $1,100 and blah, 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 something. I'm just rounding it up to $1,200 because that's approximately how much it was. Because I also got a discount for doing automatic payments. So the payments will automatically come out of my account every month. Um... Yeah, so, and if 1100 sounds like a lot of money to you all, just try and remember that medical assistant courses run for like $4,000, four, four to eight grand is how much medical assistant courses run for. 
So the fact that I was getting this course for one grand was like a blessing because they're they're not cheap, you know. And I was looking everywhere. I was looking everywhere for a course that I could pay for, you know. Now I am one step closer to working as a medical assistant and I'm really excited about it. So um, the payments, if you all were wondering how much the payments are, they are $79. So basically $80 a month or how much the payments are. You can always just comment down below and let me know and I can do a separate video laying out the course, what it entailed, how many lessons it had, was it hard, was it easy, was there labs, you know, we can talk about all of that if you all are interested. Um, you also can get on the U.S. Career Institute's website. I don't know what their website is called. I think it's like us.careerinstitute, something, I don't know, but if you Google U.S. Career Institute, it will come up. Yeah, so other than that, if you all want to know more about the course, let me know, and I'll definitely get that video going for you guys. Other than that, I don't have anything else to talk about on that front. Just wanted to tell you all where I've been and tell you all that it is still absolutely possible to get those hours during COVID. So, this class is completely online and none of it is in person and uh, during COVID that is pretty much perfect so everything's all good on that front. I have not taken the medical assistant exam yet so um, probably can't actually not probably I can't answer any of your questions about the MA exam. I can tell you that I'm planning on taking the CCMA exam by NHA, the National Healthcare Association. So after I do take the exam, I can give you guys a video on that if that's something that you'll be interested in. But right now, I do not have answers or any tips or anything for that exam. So I'm trying to figure it out as I go. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on this video and stay tuned for more content.